This is the BMR TV News. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me your name. Terrorista. Progress reports are next week. MCAS is also next week. Take it seriously, 10th graders. This affects your graduation. March 13th, there are several scheduled of assemblies for the 2013-2014 year. Be there! Seniors, let guys know what colleges you get into. You'll be receiving award packages from colleges. Don't lose them and look them over carefully. Mr. BMR, March 22nd, 6 to 9! diagnosed with glycogen storage disorder, type 1B, a rare liver disorder that doesn't have a cure yet. Dylan Siegel, six years old, is his best friend. Dylan decided to raise money for research to help his friend. To do this, he began selling books called Chocolate Bar. This book uses the term chocolate bar to mean cool. For example, Disneyland is chocolate bar. This means Disneyland is cool. He's raised $30,000 so far for his friend, but his goal is a million. On Halloween night of 2001 in Columbia, Missouri, Ryan Ferguson and Chuck Erickson, two 17-year-olds, went to the bar with Ferguson's sister, Kelly Ferguson. Years later, Erickson admitted to the murder of that night. He took a plea bargain and agreed to testify against Ferguson for 25 years in jail. Erickson says he remembers everything from that night and didn't commit murder. The physical evidence, which consists of blood and hair of the murder at the crime scene, Suggest it wasn't Ferguson. Even Eric Erickson admits to having full memory of the night and to have made the whole thing up. However, Ferguson will not be granted a retrial. A baby with a virus that causes AIDS was given high doses of three antitrobial drugs within 30 hours of her birth. Doctors knew the mother was HIV positive and has administered the drugs in hopes of controlling the virus. Two years later, there is no evidence of HIV in the child's blood. This Mississippi girl is the first to be functionally cured of HIV, researchers announced on Sunday. They said they believed early intervention with the antitrobial drugs was key to the outcome. When's dodgeball? Dodgeball is Friday after school. Are there any teachers involved? An awesome question. Uh, I am sure there will be some teachers involved in this. Dodgeball tournament. Who won the last dodgeball tournament? Uh, that would be Keller's crew, uh, my team. I also have third championship in the world, just throwing that out. Uh, what time does it start? Right after school. Do you think you're going to win again, Matt? Con los terroristas! February 24th was the 2013 Oscars, hosted by Seth MacFarlane. The red carpet was flooded with stars. Some people, like Selma Hayek, wowed the crowd with their dresses, while some people, like Holly Berry, pictured here looking like a tube of futuristic toothpaste, and Jennifer Lawrence, who would later fall up the stairs while receiving her award, failed to impress. As for the awards themselves, Argo was the big winner for several awards, including Best Picture. Daniel Day-Lewis won Best Actor for his role in Lincoln, while Jennifer Lawrence won for hers in Silver Linings Playbook. Best Supporting Actress went to Les Miserables and Hathaway, and Best Supporting Actor went to Christopher Waltz from Django Unchained. Finally, Disney Pixar's Brave took home the award for Best Animated Film. Here we have two varsity basketball players, Kevin Cruz and David O'Connor. How do you feel like you've been doing on the season so far? Well, we went. 
10 and 10 this year. We actually made it to the playoffs for the first time in a while. It was uh, pretty successful, but yeah, we lost to Gardner in the last round. But we were uh, going on a five game winning streak, so I thought it was pretty good to end the season, five game winning streak. Lose by two, heartbreaker, but a lot of fans there, good support. Yes, well, very thankful for the fans. Safety. How do you think next season's gonna go? Next season's gonna be pretty good because we got six seniors coming up and we're actually looking pretty talented. Yes, I think we can uh, make districts next year, maybe make Clark tournament. We need a lot of fans though, same amount of fans as last time maybe, 500 plus. It's hard to beat, but I think we can do plus. it. 600 plus. 600 plus. Definitely. Well, thanks for bringing our school together, one hoop at a time.